टास्क क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट विद रिवीजन ठीक है सो गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन एवरीवन राइट टुडे इज द लेक्चर 2 ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम है ना सो लेट अस रिवाइज व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड इन लास्ट क्लास फर्स्ट राइट देन वी टॉक्ड टॉक अबाउट द अदर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड अदर टॉपिक्स ठीक है सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू रिमेंबर दैट वी स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक आईडिया ऑफ नंबर्स राइट व्हाट इज नंबर बाय नंबर होता क्या है एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ नंबर्स राइट है ना सो आई कैन से राइट the different type of numbers are real and imaginary hai na real and imaginary right real and imaginary then imaginary numbers divided into rational and irrational hai na then so rational numbers further divided into fractions and integers right clear hai right and it is positive to your negative integer or you can you can describe in one different way hai na because even fractions are also positive negative hai right? so you can also describe it like this real number this is from real number hai right? na because hum imagine number nahi padhna hai abhi so real number can be tell me real number can be divided into rational number and irrational number right then rational number is divided into integers and tell me non non integers hai right? na then negative integers is divided into whole number right because it is positive integers hum log ne likha tha na right this way negative integer then whole number why because whole number includes both zero and natural number theek hai sabko samajh mein aaya ye tell me right? yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir theek hai to hum logo ne kya kiya tha hum logo ne ek ek tarike definition dekha tha what is rational number so rational number is a number which can be written in form of p by q hai na i'll just revise this over here when you भेज दिया था तो दो और राइट समझ में नहीं आया था ठीक है सो आई जस्ट रिवाइज वंस इन शॉर्ट इन ब्रीफ ठीक है सो आई कैन सी सर राशन नंबर द नंबर्स व्हिच कैन बी रिटेन फ्रॉम ऑफ पी बाय क्यू है ना पी बाय क्यू एंड क्यू शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सिंपल है ना तो कार्तिक आई सेन डोंट वरी राइट आई सेन ठीक है ना इन राशन नंबर इन राशन नंबर क्या है पावर क्या होता है पावर नंबर पे पावर क्या आ जाए नंबर पे पावर अगर होल नंबर की जगह फ्रैक्शन आ जाए समझ में आ रहा है नंबर किसी भी नंबर के ऊपर जो पावर है वो अगर फ्रैक्शन में हो जाए इंस्टेड ऑफ होल नंबर इफ इट्स अ फ्रैक्शन राइट देन द नंबर्स कैन नॉट बी रिटर्न इन फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू हाँ या ना राइट जैसे रूट टू है रूट टू बताओ क्या अब रूट टू बेसिकली क्या है टू टू दावर वन बाई टू है ना हम लोगों ने लास्ट क्लास में देखा था सर रूट टू इज बेसिकली टू टू दावर वन बाई टू Right, so tell me, can this be written as p by q? Tell me, can this be written by p by q? Because p and q should be integer, है ना? P and q should be integer. अब दिख रहा है ये two to the power one by two integer है क्या? Tell me, no, na, right? Because sir, इसके power जो है वो whole number नहीं है. Power जो है वो क्या? Fraction है, है ना? So ये integer नहीं है. ठीक है? So this is not, this cannot be written in form of p by q. So if any number is Right? If any number cannot be written in form of p by q, then it is not your rational number. Got it, Jia? Got it? है ना? आपको समझ में आ गया? Tell me. Sir, what is this p by q, sir? P by q is basically a representation, right? Where p and q can be integers. ठीक है? P and q are basically integers. ठीक है? समझ में आया? So p by q okay, is basically sir. a form. For example, eleven by two. Eleven क्या है यहाँ पे? Integer है. Right, we will talk about this. Okay, then integers are negative integers, right? 
which are the negative of natural numbers and whole number, which includes zero and natural number. Clear hai? Integers, integers are basically the numbers which can, integers is a group of, group of natural number zero and it's, tell me, group of natural number zero and it's negative. And what a natural number? Natural number are counting numbers. Counting numbers. Okay, so I can say, sir, group of counting numbers, it's negative, right? Okay. Along with zero is your integers. Okay, clear? Hai? Yes, right? Some people are messaging in, right? Okay. So, yes, of course, much more. Yes, of course, much more. Right? Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me, anyone have any doubt in this? So, much rational numbers, much more. I am much rational numbers. Papa Chala, so much more. But what is irrational number? Right? Irrational as simple as that. Okay. Then integers we understood. Right? Okay. Negative number, whole number, zero, natural number, you understood. Right? Let's talk about this non-integers of fractions. So I can say, sir, right? What is fraction? Right? What is fraction? So let's talk about fractions. Right? 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 So we will talk about fractions. What is fraction? So let us see. First of all, how many types of fractions are there? Right? Okay. So I can say, sir, fractions are basically part. Last class, fractions basically a part. Right? I hope all of you remember. Right? Fractions are basically part. Right? Part of something. Right? Part of something. Okay? Right? Yes. Fraction is equal to part of a whole. Very good. That's a very basic, very layman term. Anna, anything which we can understand, right? Okay. We can explain. We can explain in an easier way. Right? Can you know, I've explained. Uh, okay. I'll explain once again. Rational number are basically numbers which can be written from a P by Q. Right? Where P and Q are integers and Q should not be equal to zero. For example, see, examples are there, right? 11 by 2, 7 by 1, 0 by 1, minus 3 by 5, right? These are the examples of rational numbers. But any number which cannot be represented in form of P by Q is an irrational number. Okay. Check it. Now, let us talk about fractions. We have different type of fractions, right? See, instead of just having, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, equal fractions are basically equal numbers, no? Nah? Karthik, equivalent fractions, what's the meaning of equivalent fractions, right? So basically they are almost equal fractions. We will see, right? This is a property, we will see, don't worry. Okay, that is not a different type of fractions, okay? Right? Anna, think about it. For example, two by three, four by six, right? Eight by, tell me, 12. Anna, so they are basically the equal, equal fractions. So it is not a different type, but again, okay, you can write, these are, Okay, now what is the fraction? So fractions is basically part of pool. So I can say, sir, fractions are basically your P by Q. Ayana, P by Q, right? So what is the difference between fraction and rational number? Sir, no difference actually, right? Ayana, right? Again, every number can be written in terms of fraction. Every number can be written in terms of fraction, yes or no? Right? Except sum. That's why, that is why when you talk about except sum, that's why I cannot consider. Enough. Right? Now, integers can also be written in terms of fraction, but again, they're given a specific name as integer because of its property. For example, for example, mango is what? Mango is a fruit. Yes or no? Mango is a fruit. Right? Enough. Mango is a fruit. I know. Anyone saying some mango is a vegetable, sir? Tell me. Everyone know that mango is a fruit? Right? No one is saying yes, that. Will, yes. yeah. So, but in mango also, in mango also, there are different type of mangoes, right? There is Olfanto, then there is Bombaya, then there is, right? Other different type of mangoes, Mayana, right? Anna? Yes, sir. Yeah, so we categorize mangoes based yes, on basis of their origin, based of their taste. But still, every mango is a mango, na? Hakine, right? So we categorize anything based on its specific property. Take care. 
राइट ओके चलो सो नाउ दिस पी इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूमरेटर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू नो दिस दिस पी इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूमरेटर राइट एंड दिस क्यू इज कॉल्ड एज डिनोमिनेटर ठीक है सर ये तो आता है ये तो आता है ठीक है हाँ है ना चलो लेट इज टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फ्रैक्शन फर्स्ट इज कॉमन फ्रैक्शन राइट एनी फ्रैक्शन एनी फ्रैक्शन एनी फ्रैक्शन राइट एनी फ्रैक्शन ओके डिनोमिनेटर इज नॉट टेन इज योर कॉमन फ्रैक्शन ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू बाई थ्री फोर बाई फाइव राइट ऑल आर कॉमन फ्रैक्शन है ना एनी ठीक है Wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you. First, focus here, right? Little, little, small, 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 small steps. Then decimal fraction. Deci, deci. By default, deci means by ten. Anna, tell me. Deci means by ten, right? I have already, I have already told you, right? Centa, centi means by hundred. So deci means by ten. So any fraction whose power, whose, right? Denominator is ten or the power of ten. means denominator right denominator is what 10 or 100 you know or 1000 right tell me any number whose power is either 10 or multiple of 10 is your decimal theek hai yes aditya tell me message you doubt right you know so 2 by 10 so the thing is for this any number to be decimal right you know so the Denominator should be either ten or multiple of ten. ठीक है? ये तो समझ में आ गया आदित्य। Message your doubt. You didn't message your doubt. Okay. Right? So यहाँ तक सब कुछ समझ में आ रहा है? I guess यहाँ तक सब कुछ समझ में आ रहा है? है ना? Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? No? Clear? Okay. Right? आदित्य, you're not asking your doubt. ओके चलो सो ये तो हो गया सर कॉमन फ्रैक्शन एंड डेफिनेट फ्रैक्शन गाइस मैसेज आई कैन नॉट हियर यू प्रॉपर्ली बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर इंटरनेट इश्यूज ओके आर देयर ओके सो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन फर्स्ट ओके नाउ प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन प्रॉपर राइट मींस भाई फ्रैक्शन ही होना चाहिए है ना फ्रैक्शन ही होना चाहिए नाउ थिंक अबाउट इट Suppose, suppose your dad brought five chap, five uh, apples, right? Suppose your dad brought five apples. ठीक है? See, I have already told you. I have already told you. For any rational number, two should not be equal to zero. हाँ या ना? Right? Simple. Two should not be equal to zero. Two should not be equal to zero. So I am not putting two in the denominator. Right, if Q is in numerator, then it is your common fraction simple. As if we say, for example, Janna, these things are not used, right? You just have to remember. Okay, yes, five by ten is zero point five. That's it, right? We will discuss. We will discuss about decimals. Don't worry. Okay, so my question is, my question is, sir, if if your father brought five apples and you got two apples, you got you got two apples. So what part of Total, you got. Tell me. Tell me. Two by five. Two by five, right? Hana. So I can say, sir, it is a small part of five. Yes or no? Right? Clear here. So I can say, sir, in this case, I'm just write proper fraction separately. Hana. Proper fraction. Right? Again, it is just a name given. Hana. For example, right? My name is Vishnu. Hana. So someone. Someone who discovered this, right? Gave the name. Okay, ये properly fraction ही है. It is your yes, Madhava. If Q is not equal to zero, right? And see Q here, P and Q should be integers, right? है ना? P and Q should be integers also. ठीक है? Positive negative दोनों हो सकता है, but P and Q should be integers and Q should not be equal to zero, right? है ना? That is what that is what we have studied. Okay. So proper fraction, sir. In this, sir, we know, we know basic default, sir. We have a numerator, we have a denominator. हाँ या ना? दम बहुत basic. कुछ याद नहीं रखना है. Sir, इसको properly fraction होना है. Fraction होना means 
डिनोमिनेटर शुड बी होल है कि नहीं थिंक अबाउट इट डिनोमिनेटर शुड बी होल होल मींस पार्ट पूरा पार्ट होना चाहिए है ना राइट डिनोमिनेटर शुड बी ग्रेटर देन न्यूमरेटर हां या ना टेल मी तभी तो पार्ट होगा राइट यस ऑन टेल मी हां या ना I'm muting everyone. Just give me a minute. Sir, five by four is incorrect. Yes, sir. Yes. Five by four is incorrect. And so, sir, this is not correct. Four by three is also incorrect. Sir, four by three. Sir, sir, four by three is also incorrect. So clear, hai, theek hai, ho gaya, hai na? Right, very good, Anshita. Very good, hai na? Right. So, ye galat ho gaya, sir. Very good, right? If you have studied this in Unit class is very good, right? I'm revising everything now. Like you know, you'll see. I cannot jump, right? I'm not step by step. So proper fraction we know. Then same way in proper fraction we know this, right? In proper fraction, see how these small concepts, right? You know, there's a difference between knowing and there is difference between applying. I am not. How many of you believe this? That there's a difference between knowing and there's difference between applying, right? Everyone know about fraction, but let us see how can apply it. So, if numerator, right? If numerator is greater than denominator, right? For example, yes. Example, as you said, four by three, five by four, right? Eleven by five, है ना? Any example? बस हो गया, हो गया. Positive yeah. number by one. ठीक है कर दीजिए सर मिक्स्ड फ्रैक्शन इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ अ होल नंबर एंड अ फ्रैक्शन यस 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 ठीक है राइट द मिक्सचर ऑफ होल नंबर एंड अ प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन वेट सर नॉट प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन सर ऑफ इनप्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन मिक्सचर ऑफ प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन होल नंबर एंड अ प्रॉपर सर वी शुड डिवाइड इट Yes, right. So let us see how to divide. Right. So mixed fraction is basically consists of integers as well as fractional part. Now think about it, everyone, step by step. Please don't speak. Okay. So can we divide this example? Right. Let's study example seven by three. Can I divide seven by three? No, can sir. This? No, is... sir. Six by three. I am not. Tell me. Think about this step by step. Step by step. Can I write this as six plus one by three? Six plus one by three. Ayana, can you believe it? Yes, sir. 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 Now this itself, this itself is written as by four plus is removed and it is written as two one by three. So the meaning of two one by three is basically it is same as two plus one by three. Hi Anna, so much more. Yeah, so this is a sum of sum of integer and fraction. So I can say so it is the sum of integer and fraction. Again, yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, and fraction. 
Now, let us let us try to find some more examples because this is something that students tend to tends to make mistake. Okay, so let us solve one problem. Okay, concept check. Now, convert into mixed fraction. Mixed fraction. Okay, convert that. So a. One forty-five by twenty-five. B and I'm muting everyone. No one should speak. Everyone should just message. Okay, everyone should just message. Okay, try. Chalo, solve karo aur batao kya hoga. Convert this into mixed fraction. Na convert, na convert. Tell me, convert. Okay, very good. Chalo, very good. So first of all, first of all, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about anything. Okay, I'm not talking about any fractions or any different kind. Right, I'm just converting this. Right, I'm just converting this into. Yes, okay. So I'm not converting into equivalent fraction and all. I'm just dividing it. Okay, I'm just doing that. I'm just doing that. Okay, right? Okay, I can do. I can convert into simple fraction, but I'm not doing it. My my main motive is to convert it into mixed fraction. So divide one forty five by twenty five. So I can say it is written as one twenty five plus twenty. Hi Anna. By twenty five. Yes or no? A solution A. Yes or no? Tell me. Step by step. Step by step. So one twenty five by one twenty five by twenty five is basically what five, है ना? Plus twenty by twenty five. This can be written as five twenty by twenty five. Now you can just divide it. Equivalent fraction, है ना? So it is your. Tell me four times. It is your five times. So this is also equal to five four by five, right? So this is also correct. This goes clear. Hey, ye cheese. Hi, Anna. What how? What how? Tell me what how. Right? What how? Here, one forty-five can be written as one twenty-five plus twenty. Simple, hey na? One forty-five can be written as one twenty-five plus twenty. क्या होता है? One forty-five होता क्या है? One twenty-five plus twenty is equal to how much? Tell me, one twenty-five plus twenty is equal to how much? What is one twenty-five divided by twenty-five? What is one twenty-five divided by twenty-five? क्या होता है? One twenty-five divided by twenty-five क्या होता है? Five होता है. That is why it is five. Got it? Right? है ना? So five plus twenty by twenty-five. है ना? Yes or no? I hope everyone remember. Right? Clear? ठीक है? चलो. And twenty by twenty-five. Either you can write directly or you can divide by five. 
5 to convert into 4 by 5 so both are correct theek hai chalo right this is done this is done so let us solve b let us solve b i guess b everyone can solve so 27 divided by 4 right so divide see you can check divide 27 by 4 right but i guess na to aata hai na tables aate hain hame right so we know it is 24 plus 3 By seven, by four, table तो आता है ना सर, we know table सर, ऐसा तो ही ना हम लोगों ने इतना कुछ पढ़ा, right? तो table तो आता है ना हमें, आया ना? So this is equal to what? Six plus three by, है ना? So this is written as six three by. This is a representation, ठीक है? Six three by four means six plus three by four. Yes, correct. Very good, Anushka. Very good, everyone. Priya, Shreya, correct. Everyone, I hope all of you understood this. Now, why I'm stressing on this because generally students make mistake in this. ठीक है, okay? चलो, so I guess everyone understood mixed fraction, है ना? Everyone understood mixed fraction, right? Now there are two different type of fraction, right? Which are called as compound fraction and continued fraction. ये दोनों काफी important हैं. ये हमें काफी ज़्यादा confusing करता है और आगे आता भी है, है ना? So what is compound fraction? Compound मतलब क्या होता है mixed है ना not exactly mixed but means right mixture of two two different types right so I can say compound fraction compound fraction now till now till now what we have studied sir when you we have a numerator and denominator both for integers yes or no right yes or no right right But what if, or instead of, instead of numerator and denominator, okay, instead of of integers, integers, if this is mean integers, if numerator and denominator, if numerator, right? I'm just writing numerator as n, right? Numerator n. Denominator, है ना? Numerator and denominator, right? Are fractions. समझ में आ रहा है? Means when you talk about this, when you talk about this, two by five, then this two and this five are integers, right? So this is a fraction. But what if, what if I write like this, two by five whole divided by three by two? Tell me. Right? Hey na? Tell me. Think about it. If I write something like this, so here numerator is what? Numerator is. Tell me. Numerator is what? So numerator is also fraction. Numerator is also fraction. Yes or no? Right? So this is your n. And tell me, this is your d. D. Okay. But obviously, but obviously, we can we can convert it into our Normal fraction, na? Yes or no? Right? So just many. I just said. I just said that if if we have a fraction in which numerator, right? Instead of having an integer, if it is fraction and denominator, if any of the two or both are fraction, if any or both, right? Any or both, right? So the n and d are fraction, right? ठीक है? So it can be written as now. Let us think about it. Let us think about it. Let us understand the basic meaning of division. Now, if I'm saying that a is divided by b, a is divided by b. What's the meaning of this? Let us try to understand this first. The meaning of this is that a is divided by b. I am now. Right. This is the meaning. Right. This is the representation. Yes. Or can I say, sir, it is a into one by b. I am now. Yes or no? Yes or no? Simple, very simple. Tell me. Basic definition. Definition. I am now. Now tell me. Tell me here. Can I say, say it is equal to n into one by d? I am now. This is basically n into one by d. Ananya, ananya. It is the basic term of definition. Na ananya, right? Ananya. Hum logo ne class फोर से डिवीजन पढ़ा है सो ए अगर डिवाइड बाई बी होता है ए इज डिड बाई बी इट कैन रिप्रेजेंट बाई ए बाई बी 
Mayana. Right? Right? Okay. And how? How can we write a by b in terms of multiplication? So can I say that is a into one by b? Because it will it will be what a into one a b into one b, है ना? तो ये तो basic basic division है जो हम लोगों ने पढ़ रखा होगा class fifth में ही, है ना? Right? So in same way, if I'm having n by d, can I write less n into one by d? हाँ है ना? हाँ है ना? Right? Everyone. Now tell me what is n? What is the numerator value? कितना है? So numerator is equal to two by five. Yes or no? Numerator is equal to two by five. Anyone have any doubt in this? So numerator is two by five. Anyone have any doubt in this? Into into. Now what is the reciprocal of three by two? What is the reciprocal of three by two? Tell me. What is the ulta of three by two? Three by two ulta कितना होता है? Right? Two by three makes sense, na? Makes sense, right? Two by three, very good. So it is reciprocal of d, na? It is reciprocal of d. So reciprocal of d is two by three. Yes or no? Aya na? Aya na? So d is equal to three by two. D is equal to three by two. Then one by d, right? Which is reciprocal. Ulta is two by three. Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? I know that even though even though it is easy, but students tend to make mistake. Now tell me what is the answer? Tell me now. Tell me what is the answer? ठीक है, yes exactly. अब देखो, अब अब तो समझ में आया. Four by fifteen, right? Again, there's a two things, right? There's a there's a method, right? And there's a concept, right? You can If you are smart, you can just do it here, right? And now, now think about it. I'll just give you one any random example, right? Let us try one random example, right? Concept check. Suppose I'm having a problem like this: three by two, divided by five by four. Convert this. Tell me. Convert this. How to use this? Tell me. Convert this into a proper fraction. Tell me. Everyone, try to write one step by step. Karthik, tell me what's the answer. Tell me, Karthik, what's the answer? Bindu, okay. Sanjana, okay. Gautam, okay. Okay, Shreya, okay. Very good. So, Jia, see, sir, here three by two is numerator. Three by two is numerator, है ना? Three by two into now this is a denominator, right? So the denominator we will write as ulta, right? So instead of five by four, wrong, sir, because this is a denominator, right? So instead of writing five by four, I'll write ulta of denominator, which is four by five, है ना? Clear है? So either it is what twelve by ten, right? Or it is equal to six by five. समझ में आया टेल मी समझ में आया राइट नाउ टेल मी अगर रेसिप्रोकल नहीं लोगे इफ यू नॉट टेकिंग रेसिप्रोकल व्हाट यू आर डूइंग यू आर डूइंग यू आर टेकिंग रेसिप्रोकल ओनली ना राइट प्रज्ञा व्हाट यू डिड इट गेट टेल मी प्रज्ञा व्हिच स्टेप यू डिड इट गेट आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग अ बेसिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डिवीजन सर ए डिवाइड बाय बी इज बेसिकली ए बाय बी है ना ए बाय बी वे ए इज इन टी जो Right, a is something and b is something, right? So this is written as a into one by b, where this is the reciprocal of b, as simple as that. So it is what here a is equal to three by two, b is equal to five by four. I'm just writing this now a into reciprocal of b, 
reciprocal of 5 by 4 is 4 by 5. That's it. Okay. Okay. What is right now? This is numerator, na numerator. A divided by B ko 1 by A likhte hai. Kya? Think about it. Kisko kisse divide kar rahe hai? basic definition hai division ka. 4 divided by 3 or 3 divided by 4. Same toh hi na hota hai. They're not same, right? Okay. So denominator ko hi amisha ulta karte hai na? Yes or no? Jia. Jia, what is the meaning of division? Tell me, what is the meaning of division? It is multiplying by reciprocal. That is the definition. Ayana, tell me, meaning of division is multiplying by reciprocal. That's the basic definition. Ayana, right? 4 divided by 2 is basically 4 multiplying by 1 by 2. 3 divided by 5 is basically 3 multiplying by 1 by 5. That is the basic definition. Hayana. Right? Yes, Anshita. Yes, right. Okay, but again, right? I'm teaching you the steps now. It is, it is understood. Okay. Now let us. Check one more problem. Okay. Solve this. Or I'll just not take it. I'll just give this. I'll just make it with that. Twenty seven. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Make it a bit simpler, right? Now solve it. Everyone solve it. Okay, step by step, everyone, step by step, right? We need not to be very, like, do not, re, do not miss the steps. Okay, think about it, step by step. Right? So it is what? 13 by 18 into, into, right? Abiska ulta. So this is your 27 by 39. Right? Think about it. And so sir, 9 se gaya ye 2 times. 9 se gaya ye 3 times. Right? So 13 se gaya ye 3 times. Or 3 se 3 gaya. So the answer is 1 by 2. Just 1 by 2. Okay? Right? Yes, correct. 1 by 2. Bridula, you multiplied everything, but the answer is Right? 1 by 2. Nishin, Galat, 1 by 2 and Shika, correct. And uh, everyone, those who got 1 by 2 is correct. Right? If you could have multiplied everything, and uh, we need things to be easier. Right? We need not to multiply this. If it is get, getting cancelled, we will cancel it. Right? And uh, 
बट पहला क्वेश्चन था इसलिए मैंने समझाने के लिए बाद में कैंसिल किया था है ना बिकॉज इफ आई वुड कैंसिल बिफोर देन समवन वुड हैव थॉट ना कि भाई कैसे हो गया राइट बट इफ यू आर गेटिंग कैंसिल इट विल बी गेट कैंसिल ओके राइट तो आई गेस ये समझ में आया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन तुमको यूज करना पड़ेगा लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लास्ट विच इज कंटिन्यूड फ्रैक्शन सो सी राइट ये बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग बहुत ही कंफ्यूजिंग है कंटिन्यूड फ्रैक्शन कंटिन्यूड फ्रैक्शन मीन्स अभी यहाँ पे क्या हो गया दिस मिक्स ऑफ मिक्स ऑफ मिक्स फ्रैक्शन कंपाउंड फ्रैक्शन राइट कंटिन्यूड फ्रैक्शन इज अ मिक्स ऑफ मिक्स फ्रैक्शन एंड कंपाउंड फ्रैक्शन ठीक है डिफिनेशन याद रखने जरूरत नहीं है बट सॉल्व कैसे करेंगे वो याद रखना है राइट ठीक है अब देखो एग्जाम्पल डायरेक्टली एग्जाम्पल देखो बिकॉज डिफिनेशन पर लिखा हुआ है ना डिफिनेशन इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न राइट है ना इट इज बेसिकली राइट अ फ्रैक्शन विच कंजिस्ट ऑफ राइट फ्रैक्शनल डिनोमिनेटर्स राइट मिक्स फ्रैक्शन कंजिस्ट ऑफ फ्रैक्शनल डिनोमिनेटर्स राइट है ना तो यहाँ पे देखो राइट अब देखो उसको सॉल्व कैसे करेंगे मेन तो ये है अब कोई सॉल्व करेगा क्या लेट्स सॉल्व सॉल्व दिस एवरी वन उसको ही सॉल्व करो देखते कौन स्मार्ट है राइट है ना राइट जो लोग बहुत इजी लग रहा था जिनको वो एक बार इनको उसको ट्राई करो सिंपल सेम कंपाउंड जैसा ही अगर तुमको समझ में नहीं आया कॉन्सेप्ट कंपाउंड का तो ये नहीं बनेगा अगर कंपाउंड कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं आया तो ये बन जाएगा ठीक है दैट्स वाई आई फोकस मोर ऑन कंपाउंड फ्रैक्शन टेल मी कैन यू सॉल्व दिस आई गिव यू फाइव मिनट I will give you five minutes. Can you solve what is the value of this? Take five minutes. Fine. Sorry, guys. Uh, class was not recorded right like, till this point. I don't know. I I I don't remember that when I paused it. Okay, so I'll explain this again. ठीक है ये वाला. But I hope कि तुम लोगों को समझ में आया होगा है ना? Right? I'll explain this. Don't worry. Again, try this. Try this, everyone. Everyone, please try this. ट्राई तो करो एक बार एक्सप्लेन तो मैं करूंगा ऑब्वियसली मैं एक्सप्लेन करूंगा राइट बट एक बार ट्राई तो करो right ones i'll explain don't worry i'll explain okay step by step i'll explain so from there you can get Okay, right. Let us check. Let us check. Right. So as I told you, as I told you, we will start with the bottom. Right. So step one, everyone, check. Okay. Yes. Down to solution. Right. This is the problem. Right. Solution. Okay. Now, I can say, I can say, sir, we will start with the bottom. Bottom is this. You know, bottom is this. We will start from here. So step one. Step one, c minus two by three. C minus two by three, right? So what is the LCM over here, sir? So LCM is what? Three and one. The LCM is three. Step by step, everyone. If you don't get asked, step by step. Dhyan do yahan pe. Hundred percent dhyan do. Now three divided by one. What do we will get? Three divided by one. What do we will get? Tell me. Three only. Into what is the numerator? So in numerator we have three. Yes or no? 
What is the sign? So the sign is negative. I'll put negative. Three divided by three. What I'll get? Sir, so one into two. Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? So it will become what? Seven by three. Yahan tak is doubt hai. Step one. Anyone have any doubt in step one? Anyone have any doubt in step one? Right? So this will become what? I'll just write. This will become two plus three divided by one minus four whole divided by seven by three. Okay. Now step two. Step two. Now this four seven by three. I know this whole term, right? I can just say it can be written as four divided by seven by three can be written as four into three by seven. I hope all of you remember how to come, how to, right? Sorry, it was recorded to me, right? So see, step four, don't worry. Again, jo step three me hooga, step three, step one, go first step five me hooga. So dhyan do. Step four is what again? Minus two me yaha rakh dunga na because minus plus minus. So it is what? Minus three into seven by five. Naya na. Right? Because reciprocal, right? So this was equal to minus 21 by five. Step two and step four are same. Yes or no? Step two, step four are same. And step one, step two, step five will be same, right? So step five they put. So it will become what? Two minus twenty-one by five. Hena. So step five. Everyone, please focus on step five. Sir, it is two by one. Leela, Pranav, those who didn't get step one or step three, please focus on step five because it is same, right? So two minus two minus what? Twenty-one by five. Ab batao. What denominator is one over here? Here denominator is five. What is LCM of one and five? What is the LCM of one and five? Tell me. Step by step. Five. Right? So either you can write it as five. Now, now how can you convert this one into five? Tell me. How can you convert this one into five? How can you convert this into one into five? Tell me. Ask yourself. By multiplying into five. Right? Right? By multiplying into five, into what is this? What is this? What is this? This is two, right? And this is what I can write like this: so two by one it can be converted, right, into five by multiplying and divide by five by five. Yes, or no? Think about it. I am now. That is what I am doing now. That is what I am doing, right? Because I want to convert. I want to convert the denominator as five, right? So minus twenty-one by five, right? So. This can be written as this. This can be written as this. Chikhe minus twenty one. Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? Up so much me aaraye. So it is ten minus twenty one by five. Now what is ten minus twenty one? What is ten minus twenty one? It is minus eleven by five. Yeah. Yes or no? Hey na. Chikhe clear. Very good. Everyone clear. Chikhe. So answer mil gaya mujhe. Answer me, yeah, mujhe. So the answer is minus eleven by five. Okay, right? Okay. So we we can't play Kahoot today, right? We can't play Kahoot today because we don't have time. Yes, Nabil, tell me what is the doubt? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt? Sanjana, step five, step five, step three, step one. Three no same kaam kar raha hu na me, right? Now. Samjho, right? Forget about the step. Now, why you guys are focusing on what is done? I'm just talking about the process. Process kya hai? Tumko bata. Agar tumko question de diya jaye, question de diya jaye. What is three minus two by three? Solve tumse hoga ki nahi hoga? Tell me. Ask yourself. Can you solve this? Can you solve this? No. Everyone, those who are doubt, can you solve this? Yes or no? Ask yourself. Can you solve this? Aaya na. Right? Hi Anna. How, sir? LCM is one. LCM is one, 
right? I have to convert this into sorry, one, right? Denominator is one, and LCM is this. We make denominator same, right? That's what we do. We make denominator same. So I have to multiply and divide by three, right? Yes, very good. Yeah, no, very good. So it will become what? So it will become nine by three minus two by three. Clear? Then since denominator are same, I can write like this: three. This is nine minus two, which is seven by three. So that is what that is what we are doing in step one, step three, step five. Tell me, are we doing something else? Are we doing something else in step five, step three, or step one? I'm doing the same thing, na? I'm doing the same thing. I just explained you step one again. This is step one. This is what I explained again, right? This is what I explained again. Integer fraction मतलब क्या होता है नन्या? Integer fraction को मतलब नहीं होता है. It is a fraction. It is just a fraction. ठीक है? ठीक है नन्या? Right? ठीक है? Okay? Now, see. Here it is three by minus five by seven. Three by minus five by seven. Okay, नन्या? Right? This is a compound fraction, ना? Tell me, three by five by seven minus five by seven. ये क्या होगा? This is a compound fraction, ना? That's why I converted it into proper fraction, right? In proper fraction. ठीक है? Clear है? Everyone is getting this? Okay. Around ten, twelve friends left the class. Okay. So I guess this is this is right. There's one equivalent fraction to three, one equal valent fraction. That is basically an equal fraction as well. That okay. Right, okay. Now, again, guys. So I'll I'll be. I have already told you, right? I I hope all of you know that uh, we will be taking only we will be taking only maximum thirty five students, right? This is second week going after third week, right? I'll be taking test and from next week onwards, right? The admission process will start. And I will be taking maximum thirty five, minimum twenty students. So minimum twenty two, I can get. Even if I get minimum twenty students, I will start. I will have the batch, okay. But maximum would be only thirty five. So you have to pay attention. I cannot teach everyone, okay? Right. So if you really want to learn, if you are enjoying the classes, focus, okay? Right. Because after the test, I will take only thirty five, maximum thirty five, right? And okay. Same. Whatever I am teaching, whatever I am teaching, right? Whatever I'm teaching, I'll I'm asking the same thing. Don't worry. जो भी मैंने क्लास में पढ़ाया है और जो पढ़ाऊंगा मैं उसी से पूछूंगा. ठीक है? Right? From today onwards, I will start giving some assignments. Right? So जो मैंने क्लास पढ़ाया, I'm just asking that. ठीक है? समझ में आ रहा है? Because I don't care about how much you scored in your junior classes, but at least you should be enthusiastic about learning. Right? Because this is this is not for scoring in your school exam. पता है ना सबको? No online, online it will be Jia. No online, right? And do not think about getting ninety percent plus. No, right? Sometimes getting less marks is good. If the question is difficult, getting less marks is fine. ठीक है? So I'm not judging anyone. It is just the yes, yes, yes. Classes will be same because again, it is not class specific. It is not a class specific, right? ठीक है? It is a course specific. I'm already told you know it is a course specific. I'm going to teach. these things right so if you are in class 6 and you are getting it you can attend if you are in class 7 you are getting it you can attend right no no it won't be in kahoot it won't be in kahoot right it will be on google classroom theek hai so i have already told you this is not a grade specific right ye 6th or 7th aise ke liye nahi hai that's why i have never, i i didn't say it is 6th or it is 7th it is like Topic specific. I'm going to teach these topics. If you're getting it, it is good, right? If you think that you can understand me, ah, raha hai. If you think that it is useful for you, us, you can continue, right? Because it is topic specific. I've already told you, na, that I'm going to teach this topic, right? So it is a mix of all the grades, okay? Right? If you think that you're six me ho, or you're doing well, you're getting it, you're understanding me, ah, raha hai. You can take. अगर तुमको नहीं आ रहा है समझ में लग रहा है डिफिकल्ट है यू शुड नॉट टेक सिंपल ठीक है बहुत सिंपल क्लैरिटी ओके चलो ओके एवरीवन बाय एवरीवन नो प्राइड था वी कैन नॉट टेक टू डे राइट बाय एवरीवन टेक केयर